My daily message for Sunday, December 11th is a children's message. Children and young people, talk to your parents or grandparents about the second chapter of the Gospel of Luke, where it tells the story of the birth of Jesus. But I want to tell you a special part. It's the shepherds. Yes, there were shepherds out in the field. Now, you know what a shepherd is. It's someone that takes care of sheep. Well, back in those days, shepherds weren't very respected. They were the lowest form of labor. In fact, most of them were like the youngest son of a family because the youngest son didn't get anything much from his parents when they died. The older brother got everything. Well, also it was made up of people who couldn't hold down any other kind of job or who didn't have anything. Did you know that shepherds weren't considered very reliable at all? They couldn't even testify in court. Wow. Well, when Jesus was born, who did the angels announce the good news to? Did the angels go to the king? No. Did the angels go to the priests in Jerusalem? No. The angels proclaimed the joy of Christ's birth to the shepherds, to the simple shepherds in the field. And what did they do? They were so excited, they practically ran all the way to Bethlehem to see this newborn Jesus. And they told everyone about the good news. Well, I encourage us to be shepherds this year. Because, you know, when you're a child, you don't have much power in the world. You can't make decisions for the family. You can't go to work and earn a living. There are so many things that children can't do, but don't think that means you're unimportant. God loves you, and God has beautiful plans for you, and your life matters to our God. And God loves children. Just think. He sent his own son, Jesus, as a baby into the world. Let us pray. Lord, let's be like shepherds. Even if people don't think that much of us, let's show that we can witness and share the good news of Jesus Christ, in whose name we pray. Amen. Grace to you and peace from God our Father and the Lord Jesus Christ.